Hello beautiful people and welcome back to Life of a Dreamer. My name is Darian Wright. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Today's video is going to be about how I treat my dark spots. Yasmin B requested this video. Thank you so much Yasmin B. She wanted to know about the products that I use and how often I treat my dark spots. So in this video I'll be telling you guys all about that. And I mostly use the same products from my skincare, How to Glow Like a Goddess video. So I'll link that up at the top for you guys and be sure to check that out. And I'll also link the products down below this video as well. And I also have an update a skincare video that I'll be bringing to you guys in the next few weeks so look out for that but let's get started on these dark spots I like to do this skincare regimen at night just because it's so harsh and once you see what we're gonna do you don't want to go out during the day after you've done this process and some of the products that I use will make your skin sensitive for the day so you want to do this at night when you're gonna be indoors for like eight hours you're gonna be asleep and your skin has time to heal and fix itself so the process that I like to use to clear up any of my dark spots that I have in addition to store-bought masks and homemade masks that I make is derma rolling. I got my derma roller for Amazon. I'll leave a link below for you guys. I can't remember how much it costs, but it was really cheap. I want to say between like $5.99 and $8.99, and this is what it looks like. It has all these little bitty needles, and I can't remember the amount of needles on this one, but it comes with three different heads, so that's the first head and they all detach. So this is the base. And this is the larger head for the body, which obviously has more needles. And this one is the smaller one for finer areas, obviously less needles. I often use this size. I haven't really used the other ones. I haven't used the big one for my body or the small one for fine areas. I usually just use this size on my whole face just because it works well. And with this process for treating my dark spots, I do it for about two to three weeks at a time and then I give my skin a break for about two to three weeks. Just depending on how severe my dark spots are and how much my skin can take because that can damage your skin more and cause more dark spots. You want to work on them and then give your skin time to heal itself and fix all the things you've been working on. You don't want to wear your skin out. So anytime I do any skincare or anything, you want to start with a clean face. You want to make sure your hands are clean and you want to make sure the tools and products that you're using are like clean and sanitized. Um, even if I'm starting first thing in the morning, I'm still going to wash my face. If I'm starting at the end of the night, I'm going to wash the makeup off and the dirt from the whole day that I've gone through. So I've already cleaned my face. The next step to my skincare and treating my dark spots, I'm going to exfoliate. And I usually go between my exfoliating brush or my microdermabrasion um, cream from Mary Kay. Today I'm going to be using my exfoliating brush and my asepsia cleanser as I usually do in my skincare videos. I got this facial cleansing brush from Ross for $11.99. It's by Touch Beauty. It comes with three different heads, two different speeds, it's battery operated, and it's waterproof. It also comes with a cute carrying case, and it's really good to get that first layer of dead skin off to help with exfoliation to make your skin glow and product absorption. So after you're done with exfoliating your skin with whatever you like to exfoliate with, whether it be your brush or your scrub, you want to leave your skin slightly damp and while your pores are open you want to incorporate this vitamin C serum. It doesn't have to be the same serum that I use, but a vitamin C serum is very good for your skin because it's going to help with collagen production, it's going to fight off wrinkles, it's going to fight those free radicals and the UV rays that are in the sun, which is why vitamin C is very good for you externally and internally it's good for your immune system, it has a lot of antioxidants in it. So um, I really like vitamin C serum. A lot of them come with vitamin C mixed with vitamin E and A, and that's really good as well. Those are good for your skin, um, producing new skin cells and collagen production and all that. Um, but the one thing about vitamin C yeah, externally yeah. is it does make your skin sensitive to the sun. So you don't want to put on a vitamin C serum before you go out and you're going to be out in the sun for hours at a time. I still like to use the same vitamin C serum from Advanced Clinicals that I use in my Glow Like a Goddess video. It's a little bit of a thick serum. It was about $5.99 at Ross. Um, it lasts for a long time because I only use a few drops at a time. Serums are good to use in your skincare regimen just because the molecules are usually smaller and serums are usually more potent in their ingredients and it helps to absorb into your skin easier and they usually do really good work in addition to the other skincare products that you may be using. So after I apply a layer of the vitamin C serum, I let that soak in a little bit and then I go on with my favorite moisturizer from Exclusive Cosmetics. 
I also get this from Ross. It's $7.99. I love this stuff so much. It makes my skin feel so moisturized. It's the best moisturizer I've ever used and I probably won't change for a while just because I love it so much. Unless I see a difference in my skin, I may have to switch up. But for now, it's perfect. You want to make sure that your skin is damp and moisturized when you're derma rolling. Just because you don't want to roll on dry skin that can do more damage than good. It can actually tear and cut the skin and it just won't feel good. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is a little bit uncomfortable. You are rolling needles on your face. So there is a bit of a pinch. Not a pinch, more of a scratch. And it is uncomfortable and it is something you have to get used to. It may not be for everyone. You might want to find different ways to treat your dark spots, but I just think I have a high pain tolerance. So I'm okay with it. Even though it is uncomfortable, I'm okay with it because I know it's going to do some good on my face. So while the moisturizer is still wet on my face, I'm going to show you guys the direction of the passes that I'm going to do. And I usually do about three passes in each direction all over the face. So first we're going to go vertical all over the face, even through the hairline and the forehead. You wanna be careful around your eyes and your brow bone as well. And then the second pass is gonna be horizontal, all over the face. You wanna be careful under your eyes and never go that high. You wanna stop at the um, cheekbone in all directions. And you can get your nose if you want to. I usually don't, I just get the sides just because my nose is fine. If I have any blackheads or anything, I'll take those out with my extractor tool. And then the third pass, which can be a fourth pass as well, depending on how you want to do it, is going to be diagonal. So you're just going to go diagonally every direction. And if you want to do a fourth pass, you can go the other way diagonally. So I'm going to get started. And you do want to apply a little bit of pressure as you're going through. I like to tighten the skin just because it kind of eases the pain. I guess it distracts your skin when you're touching another area of it. And as you see, as the video goes on, my skin is gonna get a little red. And it is a bit uncomfortable, sorry guys. And I have a lot of problem areas right here, which I call my natural contouring. And I usually like to focus on those areas, so I'll go a little bit heavy and I'll go back and forth and it's okay. It doesn't do any damage. I think it actually helps my skin, but if you're a little bit more sensitive, just do like one or two passes. Don't be afraid to go into your hairline. I know I tend to get breakouts from hair products clogging my pores and my hairline as well. And as you're moving across the face, you don't wanna drag it. You wanna pick up after every stroke and move. You don't wanna drag it because these little needles are going into your skin and you'll cut your skin. And around the mouth area and the nose area, I just like to tighten that skin. Also put my tongue in my cheek, it helps as well. And this just fights against, you know, smile lines, the natural wrinkles that we get from smiling. Let's just fight against that. Any ideas? I also tend to have a lot of dark spots on my chin, so I like to get that and also go under. As you can see, I have a dark spot here that I'm working on. And over the lip, I just like to tighten the lip and go. It's the most painful area to me, so I just like to go fast. All right, now time for the second pass, which is gonna be horizontal. To clean my derma roller after each use, I simply rinse it off in really hot water, then I soak it in 90% isopropyl alcohol for a while, and then I rinse it off again and let it dry. As you can see, my face is getting a little bit red, which is fine, but this is also why you don't wanna do this during in the beginning of the day. You don't wanna, you wanna let your skin breathe after this. You don't wanna put a ton of makeup on it. And it's also gonna be really sensitive. So if you put makeup on it, it may burn. It may not feel good. And the third pass. Diagonal. 
I often get small little pimples on my forehead and I like to use derma rolling to pop those for me instead of popping them with my fingers because it's more sterile. So once I'm done with those passes, as you can see, my face is red. It does tingle a little bit. I won't say it burns really bad or anything. There is just a little tingle. Um, next, we're going to go into our serum. We're going to apply some more vitamin C serum to seal that in. And I usually go in with my jojoba oil and vitamin E oil, but I don't have any right now. So I'm going to go in with my Advanced Clinicals Rosehip Oil. Also for my skincare video, I also get this at Ross. This is $5.99. But first, I'm going to put on that vitamin C. It's very cooling, so it calms everything down. I want the vitamin C to soak in because that's going to help with dark spots as well. Um, that's going to lighten up any dark spots, any hyperpigmentation or anything that you have. And then the oil and the moisturizer, you're going to put those on just to seal the skin and help keep it moisturized. And just so you won't have like any scabbing or any peeling or anything. If you do have that, it just depends on how your skin reacts. You may be going a little bit too harsh with it. You may want to like ease the pressure a little bit. But it just depends on your skin. And since your skin is going to be a little sensitive, I like to pat the products in, not rub them in. Now for the rose hip oil. And some more moisturizer. And there you guys go. That is my process for clearing my dark spots. I also use homemade masks, store-bought masks. I can make a video for you guys if you would like, if you're interested. But I mainly use this process. And like I said, I'll do it every night for two to three weeks. You don't want to go too long without giving your skin a rest. Derma rolling is a process of puncturing your skin with these tiny little needles. So that's going to promote blood going to those areas and promoting healing, which is going to in turn rejuvenate your skin. And it's going to help with collagen production and new skin. So that's why it lightens up the dark spots because it's actually damaging those areas telling the body that they need to be healed and new skin needs to be there to repair it so that's how the dark spots get healed through the process of derma rolling um, but you don't want to do it too much it can cause damage and more dark spots if you're too harsh with it so you want to be careful and as you can see my skin is still red so you want to do this maybe an hour or two before bed um, just because it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable to go to sleep I've done that before right before bed I've derma rolled and it is kind Kind of hard to go to sleep because your skin is like stinging <laughs> but let me know if you guys have any questions don't forget to like comment subscribe give me a thumbs up share this video let me know what you guys think about derma rolling let me know if you try it yourself i of course will put the links down below so you guys can find all the products that i use and try it for yourself Thank you guys so much for tuning in today and Yasmin B, I really hope this helps with your dark spots. If you need something a little bit more sensitive, y'all feel free to ask me and I can give you some of my other remedies for dark spots as well. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.